Okay, so what we're going to do uh, now is look at how to make a graph, starting off with how to scale the axes and to um, present the axes. If we look over here at this data, we see that um, we have X and T values uh, between uh, 0 and 9.5, and the time is between 0 and 9. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the X values on the vertical axis. So I'll go over here and label that X in meters and put a little arrow up the top. And over here, I'm going to call this the time axis, T, and I'll put seconds down there. Now the question is, how do I go about scaling this? Well, the first thing I do is I see what my largest number is. In this particular case, I'm going to have an origin of 0, 0. So my largest number on the x-axis is 9.5. And when creating a scale, I really want to create, if possible, uh, something with around about uh, four or five blocks of graph paper per major unit. So a major unit in this case might be one, or I could make a major unit two. So we'll go two, four, six, eight, or one through 10. In this particular case, if I look at the size of my graph paper, I've got actually nine and a half inches or 10 inches. So actually, I can make each set of four squares um, equal to one. So I only want to create one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I don't want to put tick marks, which is what these things are called, at every box. I just want to put them every four or five. Four is a good number because it means that looking at a half, a quarter, half and three quarters, and um, five is good because I'm looking at 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, etc. So now I'm going to label this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and the final one is ten. I can do the same thing over here. I can keep the same scale, and I'll do the same thing. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, so I've set up my graphs so that there are in fact reasonable um, axes over here uh, in terms of spaces for me to write things. I'm actually going to just move this around a little bit and just say this is my time axis. And over here I'm going to put it and I'm going to say this is my distance axis.